what is a method? A method lets you do something to an object or lets the object do something. So it's like a verb. We also have properties, and properties are like adjectives. They describe an object or it's something that the object has. And then a method is something that the object does or uh, you can do to an object. For instance, if you have a sound object, you can play the sound. Okay? Now let's take a look. We'll go into some code. Kledunk. Let's make an object to start. So var rect is equal to a new zim dot rectangle. And let's give this a size. How about uh, 200, comma, 100, comma, and a color. Hmm, blue. Hey, where did it all go? <laughs> did a page down. Blue. And we will use a method to add this rectangle to the stage and indeed center it on there. So rect dot, so we put the object first. And then we apply the method dot center on the stage. This is a method, and methods have two round brackets after their name. So that's the name of the method, center, and two round brackets. And then in the round brackets, we can pass extra parameters. In this case, we're passing the stage. That's where we're centering it. And we use the dot syntax between there. Okay, and we also have a stage.update. Hey, that's a method too. Look, update and two round brackets. We're not passing a parameter, but this is a method of the stage. So the stage is um, a CreateJS stage object, and we're updating. So let's save that and see what happens. We load it in the browser, and there is our rectangle centered on the stage. We can also scale the rectangle, rect.scale. Now, scale x and scale y are properties, but scale is a zim method on a rectangle. And we can uh, scale it to say twice as big. So we save that, and I refresh, and it scales. Now, note that we centered it initially, it was centered on the stage, but once we scale it, because the registration point is in the corner of the, the rectangle, top left corner of a rectangle, by default is 0, 0 here in the top left corner, then it would scale it out from that registration point. As a matter of fact, let's see the registration point. I'm going to comment out the scale for now. Let's see the registration point using another method, rect.outline. Outline. There we go. And it has no parameters. And what this does is it will outline the rectangle and show us its registration point and all that. And it's used for, for during editing uh, while we're building. So there we can see that the registration point is at the top left corner. That's this round circle is there. All right. So when we scale it, it scales out from there. Now, one thing to note about the outline is it's a snapshot in time. So whenever we call it, it outlines what it is. So if we then go and scale it afterwards, save that, scale it afterwards, twice as big, it looks like this. So the outline happened when it wasn't scaled. And now we've scaled it. It shows that, indeed, it is scaling out from the registration point. So we could have, if we wanted, Put the outline afterwards, like so. Save that up and refresh. And now the outline is on the scaled version of it. The other method or thing that we could do is use a method called center reg, like so. Center reg centers the registration point of the rectangle and then centers it on the stage. So now when we scale it, if we want, let's put this outline back in front there. Okay, so what we're doing is we're centering the registration point on the stage and itself on the stage. Then we're outlining the rectangle and then we're scaling it. And let's see what happens now. We refresh. 
there's the registration point of the rectangle is now centered and that has been centered on the stage so this would be the position of the original rectangle and when we scale it note that scaling it scales it out from the registration point and it scales it equally all around okay so where do we find these methods and what other methods are there all right, let's take a look at the documentation then, take a peek. So we'll go into Zim in a new tab here. Oh, bow, bzoom, bow, and hit the docs. And let's look up rectangle, rect, and hit go. Here's a rectangle. Now here are the things that we can pass to it, a width, a height, a fill, a stroke, stroke size, corner, flat bottom, that kind of stuff. Sometimes, um, well, anyway, uh, sometimes those are properties, but leave that. So here's a rectangle. There's a description. Here is an example, and there are the parameters and discussion of the parameters, followed by the methods. So there is a set fill method, a set stroke method, a set stroke size method, and a clone method to copy the rectangle. But it says also, Zim Forth adds all the methods listed under Zim Container. See above such as drag, hit test, rect, move, animate, scale, center, center reg, we saw those ones, set mask, etc. So there's actually more. We would look in the container above. Shall we take a peek? So I go container, hit enter, scroll down, and here they all are. Drag and no drag. Drag rect, set swipe, hit test point, hit test reg, hit test rect, hit test circle, hit test bounds, etc. Okay, so all of these methods, they all have uh, round brackets after. There's outline. Oh, we can actually outline the color and change the size of the thickness. That's the thickness of it. Fit, scale, various scales, scale to. All these methods are available. And let's just go back to the rectangle here, because it said something else. So that was also Zim Forth adds all of these methods. See also the create JS easel docs for container methods, such as on, off, get bounds, set bounds, cache, uncache update cache, dispatch event, add child because it's a container we can add child to it, remove child, add child at, get child at, contains, that finds out if it has a child, remove all children, etc. All right. So all those Zim objects are, that are containers will have those methods so if we wanted to, we could add things to a rectangle. Now, usually we don't. Usually we make a plain container, and then we add things to the plain container. So there's a Zim container, and we would do add child. So for instance, let's, let's go back here. We can make here, down below, var holder equals a new Zim.container. And we would add that to the stage. So stage.add child, I can do it, add child holder. So add child is a method of, of the stage. It's also an ad, a method of the holder. So now if we wanted to, we could take that rectangle and instead of center regging on the stage, we could say uh, holder dot add child rect. So now the rectangle would be added to the holder, which is a container. So add child is a method. It's a very important one that allows us to nest things. So great. Now we have a rectangle in the holder. Uh, I won't bother outlining and scaling that. And if we made a bar uh, triangle, try equals a new zim dot triangle 
and we'll just keep a basic triangle and then we say holder dot add child try now we've got both of those things let's just take a look uh, it's not very pretty but there is a triangle inside of a rectangle it might have been nicer if we centered so instead of just holder dot add child try let's try let's try try dot center in the holder okay so that will add it to the holder and also center it and i refresh here and now we've got a triangle centered in the holder the holder has become as big as its content, so as big as its rectangle, and then this centers it inside there. Now, if we want, we can move all of that at the same time. We could, let's, let's animate it. So we will say holder dot, we'll use the move to animate it, and we'll move it to stage width, comma, stage height. And we could give it a time that we want to move it in, say, 1,000. That's one second. So here we are. We're going to animate the holder to the stage width and the stage height in one second. Uh, that'll go off, off the corner of the stage. I guess that's what we've done already. <laughs> Refresh. Bye. <laughs> there it goes. It just went off the corner. Now, if we wanted it to stop on the inside there, and then we would go minus holder dot width and minus holder dot height. Uh, but anyway, we're slightly digressing here. But that was a, another a refresh, and there it goes, and now it, it ends up at the bottom. Refresh and do that again. Okay, so move is a, another uh, method of these things, of these objects. Now we add a child, the holder, uh, we could, if we wanted to, we could say uh, the holder dot center on the stage. Now if we were going to do that, then we don't need this initial one here. Um, so comment that out. You really only have to add it once. But that, that centers the holder on the stage. And then uh, let's just check that out. Okay, so we save that. And now we have this whole holder, which contains. You see, that, isn't that nice about a, a container? Uh, the, the container has in it both the rectangle and the triangle. And they we can move them all as one thing. We could also fade this in, for instance. So with an animate, we'll center it on the stage there. We'll say holder dot alpha equals zero. So we start off with it not being seen. And then we'll use another method, holder dot animate. And in these round brackets, we say uh, alpha up to one, right? And then how long we want that to take, say 700 milliseconds. And we save that up, and this will animate the alpha of the holder. Now, it's an object inside of squiggly brackets, because we can animate a bunch of things at the same time if we want. So we do that. And there it is quickly animating in. If you want to make that slower, we can say 2,000. More dramatic. Ooh. Now, why don't we change the scale, too, as we go? So. Holder, we'll use a method dot scale. Uh, we'll scale it to zero to start off. And then we will animate its scale. Oops, needs a comma in there. Comma, we'll animate its scale to say two, not even one. So what we're doing is we're animating both the alpha and its scale in 2000. Let's make that 1000. We save that up in one second. And we refresh. Ooh, did you see what happened there? A little bit ugly, huh? It scaled it from the top left corner. So you may want that, but most likely you don't. So that means we should have used the center ridge. So, oh, that's the triangle. So 
triangles fine centering what was it it's when we did the holder and we centered that on the stage if at the same time we center the registration point of the holder here's what happens so remember what it was doing there it was scaling out from now if we refresh now it scales from the center of it okay wow so those are some methods. We took a look at where you can see those methods. There's both all of the Zim fourth methods, which basically are all of the Zim fourth functions. Let's just show you that quickly. So here's the documentation and all of these objects right here can take all of these methods right here. So if you want to read about what the method does, for instance, animate, you would open up animate and you can read about all of its parameters and, and what it does, as well as examples of them working. Okay. So all of these are the Zim methods. Important ones are things like dragging. It's very important. Hit tests, etc. Let's just quickly show you a drag method. So uh, that triangle in there, let's make it so that we can drag the triangle. Try dot drag round brackets. Okay, so there's a drag method on the triangle, which will allow us to drag the triangle if we so desire. Refresh this. In it comes. There it is. And now I'm dragging the triangle. Isn't that amazing? Cool, huh? Can't drag these guys, but triangle I can drag. Wow, those are some of the cool methods that we can do at zimjs.com. Have a great day. Ciao.